evening, everybody. Welcome to your uh, terrific Tuesday Turning Point. Episode 436, I believe. The correct, the correct number will be on screen. Or it will be a title. So I'm not going to go try to skip over and look at it and see what it was. But I believe it's 436, so... When I do the editing, I'll find out the number, so. But it should be 436, and if it's not right, the correct number will be on the title. So. But today we're going to be talking about unchanging love for your Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. We're beginning with Malachi 3, verse 6. Our recommended reading is 1 John 3, 7 through 11. Our, we have a footnote at the end of the first paragraph. And then the person that the footnote is about has the turning point also. Carry H. Cash. Cash money. That, that word. C-A-R-E-Y. Carry H. Initial H. And then the word cash. C-H-A-S. Then our Bible reading today is Genesis 9, 10, 11, and 12. So if you're excited about this, we'll smash the like button. Let me know how your first terrific Tuesday of the year went. And um, what you're looking forward to in the, re in, in, in the coming weeks of the year, if anything. But... Subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends and help me reach 100 subscribers for my birthday, April the 18th. And if you'll do that, I would greatly appreciate you more than you can ever imagine. So, without further ado, let's talk about, remember, remember to like the, like the video and liking the video will help it out in many different ways. And remember the like challenge. Go back to this morning's video, the morning video, for explanation. If you don't already know about the like challenge. If you don't, if you're new, go back to the first video this, from this morning. So, it'll be the uh, Daily Devo Part 1. It'll be Episode 949 Part 1. Go back to that video... And, and this is for the explanation. But, but unchanging love. Malachi 3 6. For I am the Lord, I do not change. So during Operation Iraqi Freedom, Lieutenant Kerry H. Cash. This is a guy, not oh, the girl. C H A R C A R E Y H Cash C H A S Lieutenant was was chaplain to a battalion of frontline combat marines. In his memoir, A Table in the Presence, he spoke of praying with his troops. Our prayers were simple, he wrote, but they were exactly what we all needed. We prayed for protection, for courage, for victory. For faith in difficult moments. For the assurance that we were not alone. For help in making tough decisions. For grace to endure. And for strength to overcome. We relied on the power of the Psalms. The will of God. The teachings of Jesus. And the promises of eternal life. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze and I didn't want to sneeze on camera, so sorry about that. We chained, we clung to hope, trusted in God's love, and believed in the divine purpose and plan behind it all. And that comes from Lieutenant Kerry H. Cash from the book A Table in, from his memoir, A Table in the Presence. Nashville, Tennessee, Thomas Nelson. 2004, and that comes from page 120. So, so, if you've got your Bibles with you, 
Let's turn to 1 John 3, 7 through 11. And let's read that before we finish up the rest of it. 1 John. First John 3, 7-11 through 11. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who sits, who he who sins is not the devil. Excuse me. For the devil had sinned from the beginning. For the purpose of the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. So in this the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is he who does not love his brother. But this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. So like the Marines, we must trust in God's love and in the divine purpose for He has for all our days. God's love for us is unchanging and, and not, not dependent on our actions. How encouraging to know that God's love for us remains the same, even when we make a mistake or a wrong decision. For He never does. And we can trust him during life's battles. So K Carrie says in our turning point. Says God never wants even amidst the chaos of war. Stop pursuing our own hearts. Hmm. So with that said I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2022 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back tomorrow for your first glorious hump day Wednesday. And see what God has in store for us tomorrow. Including part one of episode 950. And we're going to be learning about true deliverance, beginning with Matthew 6, 13 from Henry M. Morris. Part 2, hopefully after 1, we'll be talking about new vision for episode 950, part 2. From Katara Patton, K-A-T-A-R-A-P-A-T-T-O-N, Katara Patton, Katara Patton, however it's pronounced, derived from Isaiah 45, or 43, excuse me, 18 through 21. And then tomorrow's turning point, your first Wednesday turning point, episode 4, I believe will be 437. We're going to be learning about a grand irony. Beginning with Proverbs 18, 24, our main, our beginning passage. Our recommended reading is Jeremiah 21, or 31, 1 through 6. Our turning point is from Thomas Ken. And then there is a foot, another footnote at the end of the first section once again. We'll get into that. And then our, our Bible, our daily reading is Genesis 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Whoa! Five chapters? 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, five chapters. Ooh, a lot, of, a lot of chapters, unless one of them's a little short. That could be that way. But stay tuned for those. I'll get to those in just a little bit. But you'll see those tomorrow at, se at 7 a.m., hopefully after 1 p.m. and 7, 7 p.m. Just like normal. So, with that said... God bless everyone. God bless America in 2022, 2023. And I'll see everybody tomorrow. So until tomorrow, me and baby Yoda, we out. Goodbye.